Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Trap Card Gaming. I'm Ian, and I'm here alongside with Eugene. Hi. And today we're playing a nice little game called Would You Rather. Well, it's, it's Would You Rather, but kind of just there for you on the internets. At either.io, you can play it yourself. Link in the description below. And without further ado, let's get started. When you eat macaroni and cheese, would you rather use a spoon or use a fork? I personally use a fork. Depends on what kind of mac and cheese. This is true. Let's say generic craft mac and cheese. Craft mac and cheese, like the elbows mac and cheese. Yes, elbow macaroni. Then, yeah, fork. Fork. And the world agrees. The world does agree. Alright, next question. Would you rather kill a unicorn in front of thousands of children or kill a beloved dolphin in front of thousands of children? Oh, God. <laughs> By word. Took a dark turn on question two. Wow. Went from mac and cheese to killing unicorns and beloved dolphins. Oh. Hmm. Well, wait, is it a real unicorn or is it just a horse with, like, a diamond, like, horn? I, I don't know. It's just, like, a tumor on a horse. <laughs> it's, like, there. There. Like, or, uh, is it a, hmm. or is it a beloved dolphin? A beloved dolphin. It's like, either way, there's thousands of kids crying. Okay, so you're at Sea World. Okay, now let's let's think about it this way. What if the unicorn assaulted someone, or what if the dolphin attacked one of its trainers? Say the dolphin's at Sea World. But it's a beloved dolphin. It, it, this it, this could be like a murdering unicorn, but this is a beloved. Yeah, dolphin. haven't you ever played Robot Unicorn Attack? Like. That thing, that thing goes apeshit. Um, yeah, so kill a unicorn. Uh, That's yeah. my vote. Uh, <laughs> unicorn. And the world agrees. All right. Would you rather have everyone talk to you... Oh, dang. Uh, I messed that up bad. Uh, have everyone talk to you. Would you rather, like, a two-year-old or in a sarcastic tone? Now... I'm going to have to say a sarcastic tone because I don't really want people to go, Hey, Ian, what you doing? <laughs> How are you today? What did you do? You just like to talk to me like that, so, so I'm good with it. So, oh, oh, a split decision. Well, hmm. they would not treat us like a two-year-old. They just talk to you like a two-year-old. This is true. They're a sarcastic And they tone. wouldn't be sarcastic all the time. It'd just be sar sarcastic tone. I, I don't. I mean, everybody already talks about like two year old so it's like, it's like sassafras. I'm not even sure I used that word right. Um, so let's go with yeah. Let's say what you go with a two year old. Yeah, nobody likes no. Nobody wants to be talked <laughs> like a toddler. Toddlers are three. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> would you rather have a Brooklyn accent or a Boston accent? Oh God. Okay. Now, if I had a Brooklyn accent, I could do my Christopher Walken impression better. All right. But, I mean, I kind of already do have a Boston accent <laughs> just because location. Yeah. Your mother, your father. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure if Boston is just, like, from Boston. Or it's just Boston, that general area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'll have you decide. Uh, it's the Brooklyn Brooklyn. Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken, yes. Always about that uh that impression. Would you rather be a Jedi or be a Sith? Sith. Well, you see, the Sith always get dead. Yeah, but Dark Pelagius, dude. He can regenerate people. Dude, this is true. This is true. A and electricity hands. Mm, the force it's like, choke. It's like... Yeah, yeah, Sith. See? Wow. wow. Why... They well, always, everybody wants to be the good guy. Ah, oh, good guy sucks. I agree. Oh, God. <laughs> Would you rather eat 50 chicken, chicken McNuggets or eat six Big Macs? Okay, so I, either way, RIP my cholesterol. <laughs> um, my arteries are going to explode <laughs> because the pressure is too damn high. Uh, 50 chicken nuggets, that's, that's my vote. Mm. I mean, that's like 900 calories per Big Mac. Ah, this is true. So, 
What do you guys want to eat? Six Big Macs or 50 chicken nuggets? Well, it doesn't specify that they're McNuggets. No, they're just chicken nuggets. They could be like okay. like popcorn chicken sized nuggets. Exactly. So, that's 50 yeah. chicken nuggets. Everybody agrees. Nobody wants to eat those many <laughs> Big Macs. <laughs> Nobody can eat one. Come on. Would you rather live until 80 in poverty or live till 40 in riches? Oh... So normal life or rich till 40? Well, if you're going to live rich till 40, then you're going to live till 80 in poverty anyway. So why not just live with the riches while you have it? This is true. This is true. But 40 is such a young Wait, age. Wait, does that mean you'll die at 40? Yes. Oh, shit. Um, oh, okay. See, <laughs> with, here's a random fact. With all the technology and stuff that's happening... Our generation's life expectancy isn't much past 50. So to live till 80 is just like, boom, you're there. So if you live till 80, you're like next Kim Kardashian. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants it, but it happened. Oh, man. Uh, all right, let's say we'll live till 80. Okay. Really? I guess people didn't understand that you only live till 40. Oh, wow. I guess nobody wants to be poor. Well, why would you want to be? Would you rather string your opponent along for the entire fight or crush them from the beginning? Yeah, string them along. If you're going to have a fight, have a fight. Yeah, yeah. There's not, not, not much argument there. Really? Wow, people just want to get it done and over with quick. All right. Okay, then. Would you rather be Cinderella or be Ariel? Um, well, if I, my memory recalls from the Grim Tales, Ariel killed herself. What? <laughs> yeah, the, the real fairy tale is Ursula marries the prince, and then she kills herself because she found out. Disney stories aren't good. Ugh. And Cinderella, you just get, like, treated like poop. And then you have a happy ending. Yeah. I mean, people aren't going to be yelling, what are those? Unless you have, like, gout on every, <laughs> on every toe. <laughs> on every toe. Every toe. All right. Each individual toe has a different so, type of gout. <laughs> for the sake of your logic, we'll say Cinderella. Oh, okay. Everybody All right. wants a suicide. Would you rather sound like Kermit or look like Miss Piggy? Oh, God. I'd rather sound like Kermit. Because you can go into a life of animation and then you're just good. You never have to be seen again. Kermit, you're pro. Oh, I can't even do an that impression. Sounded more, that sounded more like Mr. Evil. Okay, then. Wow. Um, <laughs> but look like Miss Piggy. God. Ugh, no. I, I don't want to look like Miss Piggy. No. So I think I may have to suffer with Kermit. Exactly. Unless, unless I become like a heavy chain smoker <laughs> and I have to get my larynx removed and then I have like that robot thing. So I'm going to say Kermit. Kermit. People agree. A lot of people agree. No one wants to no look like Kermit. Would but, you rather have a lover who only speaks on Mondays or have a lover who only speaks in pig Latin? God, I hate Mondays. I don't pay attention anyways. Oh, yeah. It's just like everything they'd say would be in your, in one ear and out the other. Especially on Monday. If you only speak pig Latin. I mean, you could understand that. You'd eventually, like, get used to it. But it's one day a week to only talk to a person. This is true. This is true. All right. No one wants a compromise. No, no one wants a compromise. Wow. That's sad. Would you rather be muscular with a busted face or be busty with a gorgeous face? Um, is busty like I have uh, <laughs> I <don't> large <laughs> human fun packs on the front of my body? Or, or just like be ripped and just like have a face that's seriously <laughs> messed up? You could have excuses though. <laughs> Excuses. <laughs> I went 12 rounds in the <laughs> ring. Six times. <laughs> um, 
I'm going to have to go with the human fun bags one. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Everybody wants human fun bags. Everybody likes fun bags. And you get a gorgeous face. Except for those 193,000. Well, God damn it. <laughs> Would you rather watch an uninterrupted WNBA doubleheader or listen to an entire Nickelback CD in one sitting? And uh, Wait, wait here. It says in the description, suicide is not an option. Oh... Jeez, I can deal with some Nickelback for a little bit. Uh, which album? Oh, uh, well, I, I guess you get to choose. Yeah, this is true. It doesn't say what. Yeah, yeah, Nickelback. Uh, just a double header. But it's only like it's only like forty minutes, if that. We'll listen to an EP album. That's like twenty minutes. Yeah, there you go. It's All one right. CD. <laughs> Would you rather win a $5,000 shopping spree to any store or win a 10-day free vacation to any destination? Oh. I like, um, I like money. I like vacation. Because that's 10 days free. But what the hell are you going to do there? Because Oh, yeah, you can just go on a shopping spree while it's, it's a free vacation. Exactly. So there's your $5,000, 10 days free. Yeah, that's because, let's face it, I mean, you could have, since it's a free vacation, everything is Full and paid for, so you could get whatever you want, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fifty-five. Some people are smarter. Some people putting the pieces together. All right, last one. Would you rather bring John Lennon and George Harrison back to life and reform the Beatles today, or go back to nineteen sixty-three and go to every Beatles concert from then until nineteen seventy when they broke up? I don't, I don't want to go back to 1963. Yeah, but the thing is, I kind of do. So we're split on this decision. My reasoning is, is because then you could listen to when they're prime. Because nowadays, they'd be old and their voices wouldn't be that great. But back when they were in their prime, you could listen to them. How about we let them decide? Comment section. You guys tell us what you would rather pick. Would you like to bring John Lennon and George Harrison back and reform the Beatles? Or would you go back in time and listen to them while they were in their prime? I just ended on a rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next part. Bye-bye. So, if you live till 80, you're like, next Kim Kardashian.